hey friends you are welcome back again to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this beautiful apron kindly watch it to the end and don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on this video For this apron, I'll be needing my fabric, paints, chalk, tape, elastic band, that's for the cap, my ruler, my matching thread, and my scissors. I already have a pattern here that I want to follow. I'm a medium-sized person, so this is what I'll be following. So this will be the full length of the apron. It's totally dependent on you if you want it longer or shorter so i'm using 30 inches for the full length and for the base i'll be using 10.5 inches this is on fold this is actually on fold so meaning when i open it up it should be times two and then this is i'm going to be cutting this base out and from that place down will be 22 and a half inches and from the for the top part is five inches on fold yeah so the rope is totally dependent on how long or short you want it so let's get started i'll be folding it into two this way Lions roaring in the morning sun searching for a longer day People feel so i'm going to be marking 30 inches but um i'll leave about two inches for folding so this is two inches for my folding or one and a half. Let me use one and a half for folding. And I'm going to mark 30. This is my 30. This is 30. I'm also going to mark another one and a half for folding allowance. Okay. So I can just fold this into two. I can just cut it out. So, like I said, the base is 10.5 on food. So, I'm going to be marking my 10.5. So, this is 10.5 here. This is 10.5. Can you see it? This is 10.5. And I have extra 2 inches or 1.5 inch rather for the folding. If you don't leave extra inches like that, when you hem it, it will become shorter. So, that was why I added extra. So, by the time I fold this into so, uh, it will still give me the normal 10 and a half inches. So that's all for that. Then to get to the top part, following the same pattern, I'll mark 22 inches from down to this place. So this is the down part. I'll take one and a half inches off. You know, I added extra one and a half inches for joining. So I'll just mark one and a half inches like this. Then I'll mark my 22. I'll take my 22 upwards. Uh, so that's it right there. So this is 22 inches. You see it. Then you can, when you've marked this 22, you can either use your hand to create a curve like this. You understand? You know the way aprons look. You can just use your hand to do a freehand sketch. Or if you have a curve like this, you can also make do with this. You understand? I can create my curve, or you can just use your hand to create your curve. It's totally fine. But since I have my ruler here, I will just be making use of this. But before that, we need to get this five inches. So this five inches on fold, meaning I should have like ten inches thereabout, then plus extra joining allowance or seam allowance. So this is it. This is five inches. This is my five inches so i'm going to be adding like say one and a half again so it is from here i will now draw my curve mind you here is where the lines the measurement started from because i told you i'll be folding this one in so this is my one and a half from here so this is actually where my mark is so i can just do something like this huh? or i make use of my ruler whichever one is very okay whichever but I decide to use this fine. So this is it. 
and that's just how to draft or cut this so after doing this i will just cut it out so that's it the shape is already coming out so, so this is it right there five inches for this my sewing allowance then this will go inside like this to meet this line okay then this will come in like this you understand so the next is to take it to my sewing machine to sew it but before then to make things very easy you can just um, iron it flat what i mean is you can just iron it down this way and then you fold it again to the one and a half inches allowance mark you iron it down you do it all round since i added one and a half inches to all the edges so you just fold and fold like this iron everything down then you take it to the sewing machine and stitch on it it is much easier that way but if you think you can just sew it directly you can just do it and sew it's still very okay but if you're a beginner and you want it to be easy you can just iron it flat first okay you iron it, iron it, iron it all the way, then you take it to the sewing machine. But since it is beginner friendly, I will, I will iron it so that you see how it's how easy to be when I'm stitching. This came out very nice. So this is the essence of you giving it a good press first before stitching. So instead of you folding and folding to stitch, you will have done that by ironing it flat, okay? So the next is to attach the belt and the one for the neck. See, there are two ways to this neck part. Sometimes you use adjustable lock. I don't have the adjustable lock. That is the one that you can use to adjust the length of the rope. So I'll just create one that I know my head will pass through, okay? I'll just create one, but normally if you have an adjustable lock, it is perfect. So you can adjust how long or how short you want it to be. So I'll be cutting out some strips now for the neck part and, um, and the belt. This is my leftover fabric. The fabric I use is less than a yard, yeah, but the length is by 60, but it's actually less than a yard. A yard is 36 inches wide and I'm practically using 24 inches so it's less than a yard. I'll be cutting out two strips. That's for the belt um, in this direction and I'll be cutting out here. Why I'm doing this is let me see if I can have the one for my cap. I want to see if I can bring out a cap for the apron. So I'll just cut out some strips. Doesn't have to be too fat, okay? I'll just cut it out. Uh, so this is... um. These two inches, okay. So I'll cut out like say four inches for the belt. Okay, I'm just trying to look at it. This is a DIY, it's a DIY apron. So most times you just try to figure out what you think is best. So this width will be okay for the belt. I'll be cutting out two pieces now. So I'll be cutting out two pieces. For the neck part, I also cut something similar. I will need two pieces as well because this one will not go around. Let me just take the width. So I'm following this width now, in which I'll be cutting out two. So if you want to cut out two, just fold it this way so I can have two pieces. Okay, so this for the neck. Let me leave that there. This for the 
belt I'm going to do something like this okay like this I'm going to iron it flat again I'm going to iron it flat So this for the neck, so this for the for the waist. Then this remaining part, this remaining piece that is this leftover piece won't be enough for the cap. So maybe in a separate video I'll show you how to do the cap. So I will just use it for the pocket. Yeah, I want my apron to have pocket, so I will use it for the pocket, but it's definitely not be enough to make a cap. So I'm changing it to pocket, not cap. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way The next thing I'll be doing is to fix the belt In this place, just place it on it like this And give it say like double swing, one two, okay? Then you repeat the same thing here. Repeat the same thing. So let me do that now. I am done fixing the belt. So I'll be fixing the neck home. But I'm not going to join it. I'll just fix it separately like this. So that I can always tie it to my size. Okay. So that anybody can use it as well. I'll just attach this like this. Also attach this like this and leave it. I'm done fixing the the one for the neck. So I want to say I can put the pocket. I'll just create something like this here. Okay. To be somewhere here. And when you are placing this pocket, make sure whatever you have on one side is what you have on the other side. So these two inches, these two inches, so it's well centralized. But what I'll do now, I'm going to take it to the iron. I'm going to iron it now. Just iron it again, the way I've been doing before. I'll iron it. I'll just iron it. Iron it like that all the way. Then I'll refold this one and iron it. Because that's where I'm passing my hand through. Then when I've done that, I'll show you how it looks. I'm done ironing the edges. I'll put it in the raw edges. Let me see. So this is the upper part. I said I will fold it into two. Okay, then this is the lower part. I will just be placing it like this. The measurement you have here is what you will have here. So that it will be centralized. Then I will sew this place down. I will sew everything down. Then sew it on the apron itself. So this is how it is. The pocket is ready. I'm placing it like this. 2.6 for 2.6 as well okay when sewing i'll sew the middle down let me mark the middle so this is 16 inches the middle will be 8 inches that's the center this is 16 so 8 inches then i can go ahead to hold it down with pin Then I will sew here, 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 and stop here. And that will be all for this apron. I'm done making my apron. So I have the pocket here. Can you see it? Then this is how it looks. This is how it looks at the back. Hope you understood everything I did in this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do do share, comment, and like this video. See you in my next one. And bye. Lions roaring in the morning sun, searching for a longer day.